Welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Tom Kenny. At least two students in a central Kentucky school system have confirmed cases of swine flu, and they're not the first. This time, it's in Franklin County, where administrators are going to implement an aggressive action plan if the situation worsens. The school and the health department are going to conduct active fever and flu symptom screenings as people arrive at school. And if needed, they'll dismiss six students for at least seven days. ABC 36's Kelly Wilson shows you what's being done to try to keep all those kids healthy. Two Franklin County Elementary students are at home today recovering from confirmed cases of swine flu. We were informed by the uh, health department and also by a parent that uh, children had been diagnosed with the H1N1 uh, virus. One of them is a student at Hearn Elementary, the other at Peaks Mill. They've been treated, and more or less doing what the health department tells us to. They are doing excellent with their preventive measures. Um, they're uh, spacing the kids farther apart, opening the windows when the kids are out of the room to let the uh, uh, room air out. Officials at the Franklin County Health Department want people to take precautions, but they don't want them to panic. We're treating it like flu, and uh, you need to be aware but not be panicked. Both school and health officials say the best advice they can give to parents is wash your hands a lot. Soap and water is preferred, uh, but that not being available, keep some uh, alcohol-based sanitizer in your purse, in your car, whatever. We stress attendance to kids all the time, how important it is to be in school, but it's also important to stay home if you're sick. Uh, this is the kind of time that if, you, if, if there's a fever, stay home. That, that's the simplest uh, uh, advice we can give. If, if your child has a fever, keep them home. In Frankfort, Kelly Wilson, ABC 36 News. Now, Fayette County Schools won't be releasing information to its parents and staff regarding H1N1 cases because according to a district spokesperson, the local health department is no longer confirming H1N1 cases. Letters, though, have been sent home to parents explaining that situation. Slowly but surely, things are getting back to normal at a state prison in Boyle County. It was just last Friday that six buildings were destroyed, several more damaged after fires were set during a riot at the North Point Training Center just north of Danville. The damage forced more than 700 inmates to go to the Lee Adjustment Center in Beattyville. And big problems on I-75 in Fayette County Friday afternoon. A semi hit a piece of metal, punctured its fuel tank. It happened right near the 75-64 split. Police say nearly 100 gallons of diesel fuel spilled onto the road. Two lanes were closed for half an hour while hazardous material crews worked to clean up the mess. That's our update. Get more at WTVQ.com.